Harvey's, Harvey's Burgers. Um, every time I come home, that's what I crave is a Harvey's Burger because um, the, the beef, the smell, the grease, um, that's, that's my weakness. It would also be to, uh, to a Chinese restaurant because they, they have the, the, the fried pork with a crispy skin, lots of fat. It's decadent, but it's good. So, you know, every, every time I come back from a third world, that's, I crave those things, like the fatty food, the bad stuff. I, I don't see enough Canadian companies. I don't see enough Canadian people overseas. I emailed the, the, the dean of uh, Fanshawe, dear sir, Paul Chang, if possible, I'd like to come in and talk to your kids and so they know what else is out there besides the curriculum they're told. And um, no response. And then in April, I thought, well, I email two letters, maybe they didn't get it. I hand delivered a letter to the dean's office. He did the email back and says, Dear Mr. Chang, thank you for your time. Why don't you call us back in, in the fall? I emailed them again. No response. And then I, it dawned on me. Those guys don't want to talk to you. And then I says to my sweetheart, I says, Honey, how can we get the message to the kids that the world is busy? Then this police budget came up. I says, Let's go listen to these things. And I listened to council talk for four hours. I, I listened to them say, you know, How many doors or how many um, maximum? It's like how many sand grains permissible maximum in a household. No seven sand grains, no eight sand grains, no 11 sand grains, no four sand grains. The mayor uh, appoint Johnny Beckler says, wow, that's 45 minutes. Okay, let's postpone the decision. Okay, that was postponed. And then another time was, um, they're talking about $170,000, how to spend that. And all the, the councilors stood up and said, I'm saving the taxpayers money. Uh, we're, we're not gonna spend $170,000. Uh, okay, we'll break it up, $100,000 here, 75,000 next year. And then when it came time to approve the police budget, like trained SEALs, it was approved. Boom. Five seconds. I go, wow. Like millions of dollars, no discussion. They just proved it. And yet they're trying to talk about 170000 or a couple of sand grains here and there. The, the effort is, is to the wrong place. Those counselors, I, I realize they're all talking about me, you know, this and that. I says, honey, I lean to us. I says, honey, those guys ain't talking for us. And I said, if I run and win, will you accept a lower living standard, less money? And she said, okay, only if I don't have to eat cat food. I submitted my resignation paper to my uh, uh, manager. I said, dear, dear sir, uh, I love what I do. I have a great time. I love it. But I said, I love working for Aramco, but I love my country even more. And they refused it. And I said, my city has the highest unemployment rate in Canada. And I see my city dying. So I want to make a difference. I want to go back and help. My decision is firm. They said, we respect your decision, we understand, because they don't get to vote over there. After seeing the, the mayor's, um, the city budget process, that's when I said, I gotta do something. We've built this around our, um, is what I think we need for London. I, I, I always say to, to voters, I'm pro-business, I want London back working, and cut the red tape out of City Hall. Help me rebuild London. Thank you.